company Quingo offers a world-patented five-wheel stability system, which crucially means greater turning stability without compromising on manoeuvrability. And in addition, it means superior control on inclines and slopes and when using higher curbs. Plus, as we looked at earlier, Quingo's forward sitting position means a centre of gravity that's further forward too, which improves stability on steep hills and again on higher curbs. Plus, it aids in steering traction when navigating potholes or bumps on either roads or pavements. Even in extreme situations, Quingo's active tri-wheel steering easily navigates and stabilises on steeper uneven gradients, climbing smoothly and safely. You also get smoother curb handling, anti-tipping and auto anti-grounding features. We call this Curbmaster, and it's another patented feature unique to Quingo. Obviously standard anti-tip wheels found on traditional scooters are a welcome addition, but in certain situations they can leave users grounded and in a vulnerable position stuck on a higher curb. Curbmaster completely eliminates the possibility of this, automatically powering you and your Quingo out of danger. It also reduces the shock when descending higher curbs and of course offers comprehensive anti-tip protection as well. Because stability is such a key area of safety, the design team commissioned Fraser Nash, a world-class systems and engineering technology organisation, to conduct agility and stability analysis. And in tests comparing a selection of traditional three-wheel scooters, the Fraser Nash consultancy concluded that the five-wheel Quingo remained stable on the flat and on inclines at significantly higher velocities than their three-wheel counterparts. They were also able to descend notably higher curbs without tipping. The team also commissioned the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency to conduct an independent stability report. In this analysis, Quingo and an equivalent length three-wheel scooter were tested for dynamic stability while turning on a slope. And while the three-wheeler on test began to tip at just 6 degrees, the five-wheel Quingo passed a test maximum of 10 degrees without fault. Quite a difference for such a common everyday manoeuvre.